Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today I will take another interview questions from Asset Accounting. Someone asked me to prepare this question, maybe it was asked in the interview. The question, let me go through this question. Here user is trying to post one document that is through uh, FDAS 90 means through finance they are trying to post asset acquisition and that time this is the error user is getting. Right? So I am sure you must have familiar with FDAS 90. It is common both in ECC and S4 whenever there will be external asset acquisition. So we are using FDAS 90 if we are purchasing the asset through finance. If it is logistic then different process. Now when I am posting or user is trying to post asset acquisition entry through FDAS 90 that time the error is you cannot post asset in company code. So this is the company code. Exactly the company code was not mentioned so that's why I created the scenario for you with my company code. So this is the company code Z800 and the current fiscal year is 2024, right? So this is the error user is getting. So what, what you are going to do here? So you know that in interview different type of scenario questions will be there. So this is one of the questions. Now here uh, one prerequisite they are giving that already all the balance carry forward process completed means all the user activities are already completed from the business point of view. So in this case, what would be your approach? So first analyze this error. Always you will find when you are getting this question in interview, your past preparation is going to help you. So that means how, how much different business scenario you have configured in, this, in the system, that time that, that is going to help you because in interview, uh, because in face to face interview when you will be there in the technical round that time you don't have the system right. So they are just going to put the scenario in front of you and from your previous hands on expertise you are going to understand that particular error and you are going to answer that particular issue that time. So that's why I always I always emphasize that you should be you should like of course theory you are need, need to prepare but you should also give the equal importance to the hands on. Now always you will find the answer itself there in the error. So basically if you will see here I am trying to post one asset acquisition in a con particular financial year and system is throwing the error that something is missing here, something is pending here whereas uh, business is saying that we have completed the balance carry forward process that means 2023 balance carry forward process completed again it depends I don't know whether this question was asked in ECC or S4 ANA so I am going to answer in both way. So if it is ECC that means asset balance carry forward through AJAB is completed and in S4 we know that it is FAGL GVTR because both GL and asset balance we are going to do simultaneously. So all these things are done. Now if I will get these questions what I am going to check first. So we will you can answer in this way we need to check whether the current finance year is open or not. But before that we have to make sure that the previous finance year should be completed right. So as a techno functional consultant your answer would be that first I will check whether my current fin uh, the previous finance year completed or not. In this case you can see this is our table T093B that means here in this table this is our table and my previous finance year is 2023 because transaction we are posting in 2024. So check here the closing finance year closing fiscal year is 2023. If this is not done or the, let's, let's say closing activity is not completed then might be you are going to get this type of error. So here business is saying that we have completed FSGL GBTR means closing activity is completed. So if closing activity is completed if this one is correct that means if this one is correct next we are going to check whether our current finance layer is open or not. If it is uh, check that table so that table is T093C so we have to check whether our current financial year in this table T093 completed or not in my case it is 2024 so it should be open. Now let's say if it is not open or the required configurations are incomplete right in this case you will find this one as blank this will be blank right I don't have that in the system right now but in your practice if you will check if you have not completed this part then you will find that it is blank. So that is important here in this case the error is as we are getting this error that means financial activities may be completed but the current financial is still not open and in this table you will find it is blank. So make sure that it should be open. So how we are going to resolve it? 
it is if it is ECC then we are going to open the current finance layer through AJRW in ECC in S4 HANA it is not applicable in S4 HANA you have to complete the required configuration means you are going to complete your technical uh, sorry uh, you need to complete your retained earning activities you need to complete your carry forward balance carry forward is FHGL GVTR and you need to complete this activities FWA underscore CMP very easy on the questions that scenario like you have to make sure that closing activities must be completed for your previous year and current year should be open if it is open so after that when you are trying to post the transaction system is going to allow you so i hope you got the clarity try this one if anyone having this particular error while even your practice also you need to check this particular table t093 whether this table or in this table your current finance lead is open or not if it is not open and if you are getting this error definitely you will find that here it should be blank the fiscal year should be blank that you need to open so that's it for this particular answer so it's not like any difficult or anything lot of technicalities there simply you have to open the current finance layer just check the table but when you are going to answer don't give the answer in just one or two word you can see that these are the different scenarios first i have to check the respective table whether it is closed or not second i will check the respective table whether it is open or not depends on which system we are going to use accordingly i will check the particular t code so if you have this type of questions where where like you can scenario based questions if you are getting an interview so feel free to mail me or you can add in the comments definitely i will add one video for that see you soon in another video thank you